Some of the students were very shy. Was I shy? You weren't shy. <laughs> you asked a lot of questions. 皆さんこんにちは、マサです。今僕はアリゾナ州に来てるんですけど、僕もともと学生の頃アリゾナに住んでたんですけど、え今日はですね、せっかくアリゾナに来てるんで、これからね、僕がもともとホームステイをしてたところのえホームステイママに今から会いに行ってきます。めっちゃ久々に会うんですよね。ハロー、マッサー、ハイキャッティー、マッサー、グッドシーユー、ウェルカーン。ホームセイしてたところのママのキャシーさんです。<笑>え、今日は僕のホームステイマザーのキャシーさんのお家に遊びに来ております。I'm very excited to be doing this today, and thank you, Massa, for Offering me this time to interview、oh, for Huntsman. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. 僕がアリゾナ州立大学にいる時に最初まだ全然生活に慣れてなかった時に初めてホームステイをしたのがこのキャシーさんのお家だったんですよねそれで今でもずっと卒業してからも連絡を取ってすごい仲いいんでで今アリゾナに帰ってきたんでちょっと今日はね会いに来ましたホームステイを受け入れる側の立場としてどういう心境なのかどんな感じで留学生を受け入れてるのかっていうのもね、えー、聞いていきたいと思います。You told me that、uh, I am the first student. Yes. From your perspective as a host family, how do you feel about accepting an、uh, international student? I have to say it was one of the most uh, interesting mm -hmm. uh, things that have happened to me.、Um, I have.、Uh, Met and become lifelong friends with so many of the students.、Um, through social media,、um, I still stay in touch with them. I get to see them after they leave、mm -hmm. and see how their life has changed with you know, getting married and having children and all that. So,、um, what I thought was just going to be kind of an interesting little experiment ended up being a lifetime、mm -hmm. changing event. Oh. <laughs> I've really, really enjoyed it.、Um, every student that I had was very dedicated and wanted to learn. They were interested to learn. I, you were probably the most interested because you asked the most questions. Oh,、everybody. okay. So, and, and when you ask questions、mm -hmm. of the, the homestay、mm -hmm. family,、mm -hmm. it, it helps you to learn more, not only just in the language,、mm -hmm. but、um, in our culture and everything else. And then I was able to learn a lot of other cultures that I would have never had the opportunity to do.、Mm -hmm. So, it was a lot of fun for me. There are two types of host family. The, the first one is just, you know, Business, business type, like I just try to get the money and then let the student stay,、mm -hmm. you know, that kind of type. And then the other type is like you、um, try to learn like new culture, not try to make money or something, just that they're curious and、mm -hmm. then like、uh, having a fun with the student, you know. So I think I was so lucky to have you as a host of family. So actually, I never asked you how I was. Okay. So, like, do you remember the first time I met you at the airport? I probably、mm -hmm. had some preconceptions for because you were Japanese.、Mm -hmm. um, you know, how are you going to feel about wearing shoes in the house? I mean, just silly、uh, things,、uh -huh. maybe.、Mm -hmm. But、um, to me, it was, there was a lot of preconception,、um, not knowing what I was going to get myself into. <laughs>、uh -huh. But.、Um, Being able to have you there every day and eat with you and、um, just do enjoying everyday activities、mm -hmm. was fun for me. And I don't know if,、uh, I think it was that way with, with each new student.、Mm -hmm. um, some of the students were very shy because they really didn't know very much. Was I shy? You weren't shy. <laughs> You asked a lot of questions, and I think that、uh -huh. was really good. And it kind of broke the ice for me because it、oh, made、okay. me feel more comfortable、uh -huh. trying to explain things to you. Okay, so I had a boy from Taiwan、uh -huh. who was very shy, very quiet. And the first day, and I think、uh -huh. you were still with me when he came. Oh, Sean. Yes. Okay, I see. When Sean came, he was very quiet. And I, I knew he was a little self conscious, where、mm -hmm. you were not as quiet. 
<laughs> but um, I think the immersion thing for the students to come here and live every day and only be able to speak English. And here's somebody who came from Taiwan and I had a student come from Korea. The only way they can communicate in my house mm -hmm. was to all speak English. Yeah. We had to speak that uniform language. Mm -hmm. And because of that, because of that immersion, um, I think they learned quicker. I think you can tell, like when I first time came here, for example, like my English is not that great. I mean, still like I still have an accent or whatever, but like, you know, compared to the, you know, that time, yeah. you can tell the improvement, right? Yes. Oh, yes. I always saw improvement. Mm -hmm. It is a very good program. I see. It works very well. Um, I think it's the best option if they're coming here to go to college and learn English as a second language, that it is a really good opportunity for them to practice outside of the classroom. Because mm -hmm. the classroom is going to give you a very structured um, lessons, mm -hmm. and you go home and you practice whatever you have on paper, but to have to deal with somebody mm -hmm every day yeah. speaking English, it really, it, I, it's got to multiply, extend through experience. Mm. I would see it. Yeah? And with every student, I would see uh -huh. as they got better and better and got more confident. I see. Mm. It was really, a, I thought it was a good experience. It was a good experience for them and I think it was a good experience for me. Mm. It the was a flyer time, yeah. on my door mm -hmm. one day uh -huh. and they, wanted to know if I would be interested in hosting uh, an international student and I, yeah, it was a very unique experience and I liked that it was different countries. When I went to Japan, I asked about taking my shoes off mm -hmm. because I didn't know if it was a respect thing, something, you know, do you take your shoes off as respect for the family? Oh no, your, your mother <laughs> tells me, no, I just want to keep my house clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. I just, and I think if you're a homestay uh, mom, <laughs> that you should take the opportunity to learn about them, mm -hmm. to become part of them, to be their moms while they're, yeah. while they're here and not just make it a business. I see. Yeah, you are my American mom. Uh, when I was in school, we kind of shared the information with you know other students. Like, how, how, how is your homestay family, yeah. blah, 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 right? Yeah. And then people actually jealous because you took me to the Grand Canyon or Sedona or like every weekend, yeah. like somewhere different, right? Yeah. And the people say, why your homestay family is so nice? Mine is not <laughs> that, you know? I think I remember that the homestay rule that I had is breakfast and the dinner included, but oh. not lunch. Okay. But, Did I break the rules? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, you know, so I, I thought you don't provide the lunch. So mm -hmm. I was going to go buy, you know, some lunch or something. And then you said, hey, Master, lunch is ready. So like, <laughs> what? Oh, okay. So I can have lunch, I guess, yeah, you know, yeah. like. But other students are completely like different. Yeah. They said, okay, so get your lunch by yourself, you know, like, yeah. something like that. So They did suggest mm -hmm. that I have you do a job. Mm -hmm. And I would have you do a job like empty the dishwasher or every, it seemed mm -hmm. like every student that came brought a rice cooker, which I just loved. But I would call on my way home and say, could you cook some rice for dinner? Mm -hmm. And they would have that part of the dinner ready for me. So we worked as a team. Um, I feel sad that some of them felt they had to be strictly by the rules because I think they missed out mm -hmm. on a lot of opportunities yeah. to be friends with these people. So. Yeah. You don't give me that much room though. I, I just went out and then like middle of night I just came back. <laughs> you were sleeping or yeah. something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And you kept your door closed because oh mm. I didn't want to look at your room. It was messy. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah. is, you know, mm -hmm. I think that with the homestay the um, the students' privacy is something also that needs to be respected mm -hmm. that um, they can close the room and, and have their privacy mm -hmm. so I think that was important too is interested in um, getting to know mm -hmm. these people from all over the world mm -hmm. and and it was good for them because 
I didn't have all Japanese students. I would have from other countries. So then they made a bond too. So got to know not only American families, but also mm -hmm. uh, got friends from, from all over the world. When I tried to get the driver's license, <laughs> you remember that you let me use your car and yeah. then I go to the DMV, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. And we bought a car. We buy your first truck here. Well, oh, I don't yeah. Know if you, yeah. I remember that. We went truck. shopping. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. One thing that impressed me is I would allow you to have a birthday party. Mm -hmm. And you would invite girls or other students. Mm -hmm. And the girls would come dressed very nice, so respectful, mm -hmm. in a dress, makeup, looking very nice. Mm -hmm. And then the American girls would come in their jeans, no makeup. And I was like... Oh, so you comparing that uh, the girls who I invited, were American so, girls and the international students are different. They were so different oh, and okay. I, it just impressed me. Uh -huh a lot as far as the international students were very um, respectful mm -hmm. of the whole situation they were in here mm -hmm. and that probably American students wouldn't do, wouldn't behave as well. So <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, okay. So thank you very much for sharing your information. Okay, thank yeah. you for the interview. Uh -huh. はい、ということで今回は僕のホームステイマザーのキャシーさんに話を聞いたという動画になりましたまた何かリクエストとかあったらね、えー、ぜひコメント欄にくださいそれではまた次の動画でお会いしましょう OK you can say bye, bye.